Charles Marwell Wildlife in Hampshire, England. It was started in 1972, and since then, it has become one of the most popular wildlife parks in the UK. 500,000 people come here every year. They come to visit well-known animals like giraffes, tigers, monkeys and rhinos, as well as more exotic animals, like the snow leopard, the Somali wild ass, and the ring-tailed quachi. There are reptiles, like this green tree python, and birds, like these flamingos. However, Marwell Wildlife is different to other wildlife parks and zoos. It's a charity dedicated to the conservation of different species of animals. Some of these species are endangered, like the gravy zebra, with a population of just over 3,000. And some are near extinction, like the Siberian tiger, which has a population of less than 250 or the Amur leopard, with only 30 pairs of adults left in the wild. For 40 years, staff have brought animals like these to Marwell because their natural habitats, the places they live in, have been destroyed by humans and by climate change. It's a sad fact, but if these animals were left in the wild, they probably wouldn't survive. In Marwell wildlife, they live and breed safely, and unlike many other zoos and wildlife parks, they have lots of space. However, Marwell wildlife hasn't always been like this. It used to be smaller and used to have fewer animals. But in the last 20 years, the park has grown from 120 acres to 150 acres. It has become a more open park where the animals have much more space. Marwell is now home to 235 different species, and in total, 1,200 animals live in the park. If it weren't for Marwell Wildlife's conservation work, many of these animals would be extinct in the wild. Sadly, though, some of them already are. This is the scimitar oryx. They are a type of antelope that used to live all over North Africa. They have always been hunted for their large horns, and now there are none left in the wild. They only live in places like Marwell Wildlife, where they are part of a breeding program. The park hopes that if more oryxes are born, then some might be released back into the wild. They have already done this with some oryxes, which have been released in Tunisia. The oryx breeding program has been a huge success, but there are many other strange and beautiful creatures still in danger. If places like Marwell Wildlife didn't help, many of these amazing animals would die out completely. <laughs>